This should be it. I've worked really hard. It's my big breakthrough. <gasps> it's that easy! Well, kind of. Hey everybody, I'm Ashley Adams, and on today's super science-y episode, we have a real treat. Derek Muller from the YouTube channel Veritasium is here to explain how baking actually works. Hi, Derek. Hello. I'm so glad you joined us in our kitchen lab. And as you know, baking is a science in itself. You know, we have this saying, which is that you should never trust a chemist who can't cook. So can you cook? I am not a very good cook. Okay, I need a new scientist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know a lot about how this works. Like, uh, for example, do you know what the flour does in your cake? Yeah, it makes it delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, it looks like we've got <laughs> our, our work cut out for us. Oh, well, so maybe we should get started. <laughs> All right. Okay, today we are making a tender and moist chocolate cake. So what we'll need is all-purpose flour, baking cocoa, granulated sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, vanilla extract, butter, two large eggs, Nestle Toll House semi-sweet chocolate morsels, some heavy cream, a cup of water, and we got some other delicious Nestle Toll House morsels. So, step one, preheat your oven to 350. You gotta do that early so that the oven is not still heating up when you put your cake in. This man is smart. Science. Step two, we're gonna grease our two round nine inch pans. The important part about greasing a pan is to ensure that that sugary cake batter doesn't actually stick to the pan. Plus, when we add a bit of the flour, that's gonna help with the fats to make this crunchy outer coating to our cake. If you don't mind. You really want me to do this? I do, All I right. have faith in you, you got this. And then we're gonna add this baking cocoa, mm -hmm. and then we'll add these too. Sure, we got Perfect. baking powder and baking soda here. They're actually called leaveners. They release carbon dioxide, and that helps the cake you know, rise up and be nice and fluffy. Good thing we just added it. Mm -hmm. Let's add the salt. Give this a little mix. Do the honors, my friend. Mix oh, it up yeah. for us. And that's nice and mixed. You want to have no pockets of uh, baking powder, baking soda. That wouldn't taste very good. This is not his first rodeo in the kitchen, guys. Kind of is. While you do that, I'm going to go ahead and cream the butter and the sugar in our mixer. So the butter is, of course, one of the most important parts uh, because it's the fats and the oils which help maintain the moisture in the cake. Now, what's interesting about eggs is that they contain an emulsifier. It helps break up the fats into tiny little droplets, and that's important because it allows them to mix together. Without the eggs, it would be lumpy. Yeah, you know how oil and water don't like to mix? Right. The emulsifier is the thing that makes them friends. Well, let me get to blending this one. So now we're gonna add our dry mix. Very well whisked. Whisked. Whisked? Whisked. Nice. It's like a Shakespearean cooking show. Very well whisked. Very well whisked, Lisa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look Pretty at good. it fly, look at it fly. Oh. Pretty good. This Gotta is keep up like with you. my favorite science experiment ever. Is it really? Yeah, look at it. I'm imagining eating it right now. That is like magic. Cool, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the batter in and we're gonna bake them for 25 to 35 minutes in our already preheated oven. Did you know when you're baking, if you either pat the bottom, slam it down on the counter, it makes all the air bubbles rise to the top. You have the tricks of the trade. Man. Get the air bubbles out of that for me. All right. With our new trick we just learned. <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> Send it flying. There you oh, go. Look, wow. it looks all flattened out too. These look pretty good. Let's put them in the oven. We can, let's do it. Look, it looks like those leaveners got to work in that oven. So we'll let them cool for 15 minutes, start our chocolate ganache, and then we get to decorate. So as you can see, we have a beautifully iced chocolate cake in front of us. We just layered the cakes and covered it with a delicious chocolate ganache, which is super simple to make. All we used is Nestle Toll House semi-sweet chocolate morsels with heavy cream, and now it's ready for us to decorate. What's something super science-y we can draw? Let's do an old school yes. atomic symbol on the top. That sounds beautiful. Let me put down our protons first. Now, you put on two neutrons, there they go. There you go. We have formed a nucleus of an atom right there. All right. I feel like the hard part is doing the orbitals. Oh, oh no. that looks so good. That looks so good. You got it. That is our atomic cake. I only wish that every episode I did could end with me eating chocolate cake. Well, thank you so much for joining me on the super sciencey episode of Bake My Day. I'm Ashley Adams, and as always, get out there and bake the world a better place. That was so no. fun. <laughs> It's good. It was good. <laughs>